Duvalio. back to my channel if you're new welcome I'm more than happy to have you my name is Reese and today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to achieve this braid out on your natural hair just kidding it's a wig so yeah today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to achieve this braid out on a synthetic wig the wig that I'm gonna be using to do this kind of tutorial demo is a unit by Outre and it's called Dominican Blowout Straight. I do have an original review on this unit, how it came straight out the pack, so I will definitely be sure to link that down below as well as a link to the specific hair and where you can get it. Yeah, it's really, really simple. It takes no time at all. And all I did to my leave out, as you'll see, is my hair was braided in two braids prior. Um, I actually flat ironed my hair like a week ago and then I've been wearing it in two braids for like the past two days. So all I did was took those two braids out and this is the texture that it became. When I tell you, I was looking in the mirror like, wait, is that piece of my hair or the wig? Because it just blends so perfectly. I will definitely come closer just so you guys can see the blend game because blend game proper. But yeah, it blends so well. So I definitely have to come closer to show you guys that. Like where? Where is it? I want to know. Where, where is the leave out? Where is the leave out? Like, see, that's my hair. And it just. <sighs> I honestly can't even tell half the time. So, this is my hair. And it's the wig. So, that's the leave out. And that's the wig. Leave out, wig. Leave out, wig. Oh, are you kidding me? Yes, honey. So without further ado, if you'd like to see how I got this quick and easy braid out, please keep watching. All right, guys, so here I am with the wig on my head, and this is the texture of the hair. It's definitely like a silky but yakky texture. So what I'm going to do is start by parting my hair into three sections. And I'm going to clip both of the side sections away. Now I'm just going to go ahead and French braid each section. So it's really, really simple. All you're going to do is braid from the front all the way down to the back. And I will say that you should definitely go ahead and detangle your hair before you start to braid it. Because I did run into some knots, which in turn made it a little bit harder. So yeah, I would definitely recommend detangling your unit, whichever one you decide to use, before you start to braid. And so after I am done French braiding the section, I'm going to roll the end up with a perm rod. So here I am just doing the exact same thing to one of the side sections, braiding from the front all the way to the back. And once I am done braiding the hair, I am going to then add another perm rod and also another tip with the perm rods is to wrap the hair around the rod and then once you start twirling it up cover that first initial piece that you wrapped on the end so that it stays in place so here is my hair all braided and perm rod up well not my hair but the wig all braided and perm rod perm rotted up excuse me i can't speak so while I was braiding it, I did go ahead and boil a pot of water and now I'm just going to go ahead and cook my wig. Mm, just kidding. <laughs> but yeah, I did turn the stove off. The water was still boiling and I just let it sit in there for probably about 15 minutes. Then I let it air dry for about 30 and then I did use the blow dryer to just get it super de duper dry. So now I'm just going to go ahead and take out the two braids that I had in my hair that I told you guys about and I'm going to section off my leave out. So normally I would go ahead and braid the remainder of my hair up but since this is just for demonstration purposes I'm just going to flip my hair up and put it under the wig. 
So now all that is left to do is get that wig and plop it on your head. And you'll see here that, I don't know, like this was sent from the heavens because it just blends so perfectly. So here's the texture after I took the braids out and let it dry. Um, it's so, so pretty. I wish this was my real hair. <laughs> But yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and put the wig on my head. And as you see, literally, I probably don't even have to do anything. Like, I could have done nothing. But I'm just going to flip it over because I like that deep part. And yeah, that is it. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. Subscribe to my channel so that you can get notified when I upload new videos. I want to say a special thank you to everyone who has subscribed to my channel. I am so grateful. I recently hit 6,000, so I'm super duper excited about that. I wouldn't be able to have those subscribers, obviously, if you guys did not watch my videos and subscribe to me. So I just want to say thank you to you guys because I wouldn't be where I am without you. I'm so excited to just keep growing and growing. Next goal is definitely 10K subscribers. Let's see how fast we can get there. Thank you guys so much once again for watching my video and I'll see you guys next time.